Hello and welcome. You join us live on Swell Watch. Swell Watch, a new concept in reality television. This is the program in which we track and keep an eye on swellings. Now, swellings can mean many different things, but in this case, our guest tonight on Swell Watch is Stephen McKenna. Yesterday, he was quietly going around his business and just getting on with life having a chat with a friend in a park when he felt that he had been bitten or something like that, he said, on his finger. Uh, no reason to dispute or cavil about that uh, explanation of circumstances. I'm sure he was there in the best possible taste, <laughs> no doubt about that. He's a, he's a good guy. Uh, OK, but uh, back to the Swell Watch brief which is that uh, that bite resulted in a really quite terrifying trauma that has emerged over the last 24 hours, resulting in an urgent and necessary, not to say desperate, race to get to the A&E department of Lujan Hospital. Now, at this stage, I am told, the latest I have is from the doctors, is that the condition is stabilised. But let's just actually look at what we're talking about. And uh, Stephen, uh, for understandable reasons, is tired, emotional, and really not in fit state to actually face the cameras directly. But we're going to ask him just to reveal, show his swelling, if you wouldn't mind. Stephen, if you can show us your big swell. Now you see there the hand coming into view. Well, looking at those pictures, one might think, what's remarkable about that? Not very much. It's clearly a view of a hand and so on. But look now as he rotates the hand. And as he turns it up, we can see it is resembling basically a marigold glove. Okay, I'm going to ask uh, Stephen just briefly to, to remove his hand and to show us, as he does so, just what life is looking like on his normal hand. Stephen, if you wouldn't mind, yes. He's bearing up remarkably well under the conditions, under the circumstances. It's a, quite a traumatic event. All this has occurred just in the last 24 hours. And now Stephen's introducing his normal hand. So we can see there, yes, the hand looking in a nice normal shape. And notice how you can see on the surface of the hand there, the veins showing through the flesh. Turning the hand over, and a nice normal flexibility, pliability to the hand. Admittedly, uh, Stephen is in his uh, 51st year, so it's, it's not the youngest of hands, but nonetheless a normal hand. A normal hand. And so not long before you're 52, is it? <clears throat> yeah, well, thank you for that, Stephen. Um, okay, and if uh, Stephen's told, talking to us, we can perhaps reintroduce the afflicted hand. Once again, live coverage coming to you on Swell Watch from the BBC. This really is the kind of groundbreaking programme we are bringing to you today on the BBC. And just now, yes, it's coming into view. Once more, it's more or less the same view that we got that last time. Now again, we'll just look at that swelling there. We'll just see the... We'll see the extent of the swelling there. On this side, the thumb and the finger, normal shape, but then looking at the digits, um, you can see there the really quite shocking distortion. And there is the seat of the crime. There is in illuminating detail 
the shocking event that has led to this event. And notice also the skin on the hand. I wouldn't be surprised, I've spoken to the doctors and the nurses, I wouldn't be surprised if by the morning that skin is starting to break up and crack a little. The good news is Stephen, in the last four hours, has been on antibiotics. So we are hoping in the morning to see an improvement in that condition. Now Stephen, if you could just turn over your hand, just so we can look at the, the opposite point of view. He's turning his hand now. And he really has been quite the sort of tough little soldier about this. Now again, it doesn't look altogether hugely remarkable. But looking onto the sideways view, you can see how distended those fingers are. And let's just ask Stephen if Stephen if you would just mind flexing your grip. Just just try closing closing your Right, well he's telling me that's as, as much comfortably as he can he can he can go. And look at the gap between the fingers. They even though he's trying to join them up, they can't actually join up. So just following the hand around again. And these are really quite shocking pictures. It's not known at this stage just what got in to Stephen's fingers, but we can see the effect on the skin, the hand, quite puffed up. Uh, maybe not uh, altogether a surprise uh, for a gentleman such as uh, uh, of Stephen's character, shall we say. No, this is not the first time he's been puffed up, but certainly not uh, so alarming an uh, event. Look look at that. Look at that great camera work here. It really is quite astonishing. We could almost be looking at something out of out of a horror movie. I mean, I, that is a finger, is it? Yes, I think it's still a finger. And I've just been told our live feed now is a about to come in at an end. Uh, we will be back here on Swell Watch uh, in the morning. We hope with Stephen. That would be nice, I wish, our prayer. But uh, if not, uh, I'm sure he'll, he'll have been very pleased to have been part of this edition of BBC's Swell Watch. And just remember, this is what the licence fee is all about, isn't it, Stephen?